Thank you everyone for joining us for another wonderful episode. We have Michelle Ricketts here talking to about talking to all of you about a topic that is very near to my heart because uh, for all the people who normally follow me know that there have been some roadblocks with this specific thing that Michelle is bringing to the table. So I cannot wait to hear more about scaling your business and intellectual property and just being able to what I consider advocate for yourself in a way that doesn't make you like a villain, but absolutely makes mm -hmm. you a rock star in your own business. So take it away, absolutely. Michelle. I can't, I'm excited. I just want to listen. I Talk to me all day, babe. <laughs> talk to me all day. I love it. I love it. So definitely helping business owners to scale and grow so they can have time for themselves and their family without sacrificing all of that. And then as I was saying to you, so they can happy dance regularly, right? Yes. So part of that is, and I'll give you a little background. I have 35 years in corporate and I was in three different industries. And I also did an event series for entrepreneurs. And that really showed me that there were gaps in the knowledge the entrepreneurs had or being even able to access information. And that's really what spurred me to want to do work with entrepreneurs. And I've been doing that and I really enjoy it. Uh, the, ver the diversity of it all. I love that. Different types of businesses, male, female, doesn't matter. I love, I love everyone. Uh, and so looking at that, one of the first keys that I see for entrepreneurs is they're doing everything themselves. Now, even if they have teams or people or contractors, they're still doing things. And it's because of that not letting go factor. So really leaning into letting go, understanding that others can do things as well as you and being being okay with that. The thing that helps us do that to start with is having your processes and systems documented. And when I say that, it could be on paper, but also electronically so that you have access to that wherever you are. And the key is to have something said in such a way that somebody else can understand it. Think about if you explain to somebody how to tie a shoe, right? It's a simple thing. And we all go, oh, well, that's easy. Yes, but can you explain it? And can somebody else follow those instructions and understand it? McDonald's has McDonald's University and they are successful, not because what they sell is amazing, we all know, but it's because they have 16 year olds that they've given the right processes and systems to follow. And it's exact no matter where you are around the world. That's what you want to have in your business. Right. Absolutely. So Lily, does that make sense? It does. And what, uh, when I was trained because I was trained by someone who does sports, uh, and, and so it just stuck playbook is what it was called. Yes. And so now I have a playbook for my business and the events that exactly. I run. And I have so yes. many people say, why it's Lily of the light. It's your business. I'm like, because I would like a slow monkey to be able to do something. <laughs> if I get the flu, <laughs> I would like to give yes. one link to everything and then go sit with a bucket like and and that's the thing i i truly believe we forget as business owners and i don't know if you see this that we're human and we will mm -hmm. get sick and a family member yes. will need us and our business still has to run just as well and our quality cannot exactly. change at all and the systems definitely help with that and they also help mm -hmm. us like i don't know about you but like i have the email templates that that I wrote like this is yes. what this what this the copy and paste sluttery oh, that yes. I do is everyone's like they always <laughs> you know always look so cohesive it's like it's literally one email and then everything that's like bolded it's like change that change that okay, yes oh, yes yes so much, I love I love it I got it's so music much to my time ears. back time but yes. that that's what you do I feel like you give us time back. Exactly. It, exactly. Other things, it's, anything we want, the happy dance, go out with friends, sleep. Like that's what you're, that's giving, what it's for, you know? Yeah, so yeah. I love that. Absolutely. So tell me more. I am all about yeah. systems and playbooks and, and all that stuff. Um, the other thing I want to say that a lot of people shy away from is it was told to me that it needs to be like dating you. Chances are mm -hmm. you won't find the first person isn't going to mm -hmm. fit. But don't let that discourage mm -hmm. you because the more you date, the more you will figure out exactly who your graphic designer needs to be, exactly who your social media manager needs to be. And then you'll find yes. the perfect one and then you'll have the systems in place. So, cause when I first started, I stopped asking for help because of that, because of, well, yes. I'm not finding the right people. I just got to do it myself. And yeah. I, oh, I was 
spanked. Like it was <laughs> an advisor was like, are you stupid? Do you really think that the th everything's going to line up every single time that you get a video editor who is just no, you, no. you keep going no. until you find the right one. You value your own time enough until you find the right one. And so for anyone watching, like, please don't get discouraged if you don't get it right the first time. It's a, yes. it's a beautiful You're problem. so right. <laughs> You're so right. That uh, The dating analogy is one that I use. And, and I'm going to touch on something that I just went through with a client as well, that the, 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 why we use the dating analogy is you don't stay in a relationship. Well, I'll say restate that you shouldn't stay in a relationship that is not serving you well, that is not good for you, that is not healthy for you as a partner, as a significant other. No, we usually move on. You yes. do the same in business. It, there is no time anymore where somebody stays in something typically for 35 years, 40 years, especially if they're over the age of 25. Yes. So you will have team members that move on. You will have contractors that move on. That's okay. I always like to say people come into our lives for a reason and a season. It may not be forever, but it's for good. Right. And so you utilize that relationship for as long as it's there and it's serving you and your business and your life, because even if it's serving your business, if it's tearing you up inside, that's mm -hmm. not good. And if it's if it's not tearing you up inside, but it's not serving your business, that's not good either. You need both. So that's where people will change. People will move on. It's OK. <laughs> right? yes. I'm so, so uh -huh. hard to to reiterate that enough. Yes. And uh, never settle. Because... It's like dating. Never settle. You can compromise, but yes. never settle. And yeah. that is something that I feel like in business, we do a lot, not just mm -hmm. in dating. It's, yeah. Well, I need someone to be able to do this. And they're doing it in a way that's just like grating on you. Great. You're like, oh, I don't want to have to answer yeah. that email. And you need yeah. it to serve you and your business and honor people where they're at. So like, yeah, compromise. Like I have happily paid more over yes. budget for something because I was like, that is what I need I or need. extended yeah. a deadline because I, I it was such a detail project th that I was like, they said, I need an extra week for the, the list of demands that you have just sent, you irrational weirdo. And I'm like, I accept that. I, y'all, <laughs> so compromise, but never send Yeah. It. You know, exactly, it, exactly. Your business is your baby. You do not, you do not settle with your baby. <laughs> yeah. And really it's about what we were talking about having that right person, that exact person. We're not going to duplicate ourselves. So with that, you'll find somebody that is almost as good as you and is almost you. And you need to be okay with that. So it's really looking at that 99.9% .9 that, that works. They get the job done. They do the job. They're great to work with, et cetera. Those are the pieces that you want to be aware of and not just compromising, not, not saying, well, okay, it doesn't have to be. No, it, it does have to be your product, your service at the end of the day has to be hundred percent for your client. How you get there, who you get there with is where you can massage a little bit, but you don't want to compromise on what your output is. Right. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I love that. I love that. So you you speak of success and 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 keys. Are there any other keys that that we can acquire to make our lives mm -hmm. easier and better and quite frankly less? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you hit the nail on the head. The easier better. So one of the key things my brother calls me the queen of calendar and I and I call myself the queen of templates. So those two things. So mm -hmm. but when I talk calendar, it is about having something that you reference electronic is preferred because it's everywhere. You can take it on your phone, in. but there are still people that do paper. And if you do, that's okay. But you don't want to have a to-do list, a honey to-do list, a personal calendar, a business calendar, and whatever the something else of notes you put all over. No, you want to integrate those all together so that you're looking in one place for things and only one place. And then you can block the time. I say from a to-do list, my brother still uses a to-do list. I finally was able to convince him to use his calendar more, but he still has a to-do list. But if it's something that takes time to do it, it should be on your calendar mm -hmm. because you only have so many hours in a day, whether you're up, you know, 12, 24, whatever, 12, you're not up 24, 12, 18, whatever number of hours you're up, 
and, and doing things, you've got to put life in there. You've got to fit food in there. You've got to fit work in there, right? And if you're going anywhere, you've got to fit all that in too. And gosh forbid, those of us that fitness is important, sleep is important. <laughs> you've got to have those things. You So you've only got so many hours in the day. So if you block the time onto your calendar, you can see, oh, okay, today is full. It's moving to tomorrow. And it's okay to move things. I give you permission because sometimes people say, oh, it's in my calendar. Oh, but, but no, move it. If it needs to move over, that's okay. But if it involves somebody else, make sure you let them know too. But yes. really be be mindful of your time. And something you touched on early, earlier, don't be afraid to say no. Because Ooh, yes. you do I sometimes have to say no. <laughs> <laughs> right Ooh. you do have to say no sometimes it might be to a loved one or a friend or a family member or a business and sometimes it's to a business deal because it's not right for you if it's if it's that person that you're going to work with but you can't stand them or if it's that deal that you yeah I kind of will make that product for them but it's not really how I want to no you can say no so taking your own boundaries and making sure that you stick to that integrity for yourself is going to make you feel better. You're going to look, be able to look yourself in the mirror every day. That makes sense. That is so key. Yes. I, I love that. And something that you touched on, there are a bunch of different kinds of calendars, right? And uh, while we're talking about business, this is your life. This is your whole life. Mm -hmm. So schedule in your self-care, schedule in your yes. rest. I schedule in my water occasionally. If I, yeah. if I know that it's like, okay, it's going to be a camel day. I need to schedule in. This is when I'm going to the kitchen to refill the thing. And it sounds mm -hmm. so small, right? Oh my God, who would have to do it? We all got to do it. Let's be it. There's yeah. not one of us that it's like, oh yes, that's right. Water. And, <laughs> and so it's being aware of those things and it's doing what's right for you. Like you said, paper yeah. and to-do lists and paper calendars and, and electronic and sync to all your devices whatever works for you, whatever is effective, there should be, I don't know if you agree with this or not, there is no one right way to do the vast majority of things that we talk about. It's whatever mm -hmm. works for you. And it's no shame. I don't like yeah. when yeah. coaches, advisors are like, but this is the only way to be successful. And I'm like, mm -hmm. no, because it doesn't work for me. And, yeah. and it may work for them. And that's Absolutely. But it's, it's always, Absolutely. and I feel like that's, kind of what you teach. That's what you're all about. It's like, these are the keys. All of your keys will look different because they fit into your specific lock. So it's not, yeah. this This is the skeleton key for everybody. It's magical. See, it glows purple. You're like, let's find which <laughs> keys work for you and which locks. Here's one of them. Yeah. Scheduling, planning, and calendar. What's your key going to look like? Systems and playbooks. What's your key going to look like? Because for me, Google Docs is where it's at. And if someone Absolutely. said, oh, I know people who do it in a three ring binder. And I'm like, I could never hate myself enough to do that. And I'm like, I love that you do it and you do it that way. But if someone said that's the only way that I will succeed at business, I'd close. I, I'd be like, I can't, I don't, I, the level yes. of uncomfortable I could not reach. So yes. what, what, yes. what you advocate for is really customizing your own business care plan mm -hmm. To, to make sure that it's good for you. And that's going to look however it needs to look. And sometimes oh, it's going to look messy. <laughs> I agree. Absolutely, Lily. The one thing I will say, though, sometimes like the three ring binder people, sometimes it's because they haven't found an easy way to move into digital. And so that is one of the things that I do help clients with. And I'm everything Google. Uh, I do 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 work with clients that use Microsoft and Outlook and all of that. And I help them that way. And the Apple people um, as well. But it's not my choice of tools. Uh, but there are certain things that you'd say, you know what, try it this way for a certain amount of time and you'll see. Even my brother, my brother, I have twin brother. He is Mr. Tech. But he, and he used a calendar for meetings and things, but he didn't use it for a lot of other things. And I, it, it's taken me three years for him to say, oh my God, Michelle, this is this is making such a difference. Because he's now putting everything, he still uses a to-do to list a little bit, but mm -hmm. he's still putting most things on his calendar and he's blocking the way I suggest to blo block and he's holding times in the calendar the way I suggest to. So what I, what I do is work with people to give them a little step, a little bite at a time. It's like how you eat an elephant. 
one bite at a time and you get them to just try a little something and leave that, let it settle, let it percolate for a little while. And then you add another piece because it's not about throwing everything at them all the, uh, all at once and saying, okay, now do it my way. Mm -hmm. And I did learn, I was a manager in my early, I want to say late twenties probably. Um, and I was bad because I kept trying to get people to do it my way. And back then I didn't realize I've got a lot more years on the, on the calendar. Now I didn't realize back then that that's not how you do it. Right. There are people that will still, even when you show them and you try and help them, they will still do it that way. As long as they get to the end product, the end result, then that's what makes a difference. Right. That's what matters. Whether they, whether you paint the wall this way or this way, yes, there's a better way and the painter will tell you there's the right way. But at the end of the day, if you get the wall painted, that's the end result. Yes, right? and, and, so you, and you celebrate them. Similar. You celebrate the end result. Exactly. It's like, look, I did that. No, it doesn't matter that I did it in my pajamas. I still maintain that some of the best work I do is in pajamas. Like <laughs> it is, I am I love comfortable. It. I have no cares. Let's go. Um, so yeah, I, I love that. That's, that's what you talk about. And, and that's what yeah. you're advocating for with people and you'll slowly convert your brother. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. No, he's all, he's all in now. He's, he's good. He's pretty good now. Um, and then the other thing that, uh, that we do help with is their intellectual property. So what is going to help them make money? And it ties into the recurring revenue as well, but what's going to make you money while you sleep. That is something that is either just you um, or something that is a is a tie into something else. Is it a, another product that you can sell and offer your clients that might not even be a product that you create yourself or that you you manufacture? But is it what else can make you money so that when you're delegating and you've got your systems and your processes set up and you're able to have others in your business other than you now, what else? Um, the analogy I often use is working with uh, personal trainers where they have that dead time in the middle of the day and then they're looking for something to do. If you also do online training, then you can do two things. You can train people online during that dead time in a different time zone, or you can create a course and a program that you can have fun during that dead time and do your planning and all of that. But you've got a program that people can get online and now it's something that's going to make you revenue as well. So there's different ways. And in other businesses, of course, there's different ways to do that. It's just a matter of looking at making sure you're maximizing e-commerce if you can. Can you sell something online? Is it something that you can do group training instead of just one-on-one -on -one training? I think a lot of people do that. And then opening yourself up to time zones. Even though we're now online a lot and I do all my training, consulting, and even some speaking. I did a virtual with Microsoft's leadership enablement community uh, a couple of weeks back, and that was online, 250 people in the room. So you, it's amazing what you can do online, but some people still don't embrace that. They're like, no, 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 I'm all about in person. Yes, I love being in person with people. I'm a people person, but you can expand your business if you get online because now you're global. And that's something that people need to embrace if they haven't already. And it can be just as valuable, like the the services that I provide are very wellness and intuition and self-care based, right? And everyone's like, oh, I want the ambiance of like spa-like and the massage table and the aromatherapy. And I'm like, it's delicious. Don't get me wrong. It's fabulous when you get the opportunity. But doing it, sitting on your own couch, just as effective. And is, so like yes. the virtual is just as important as the in-person. And I I love my digital products. And like mm. my, my intellectual property, the, the roadblock that I have come up on, and maybe you can touch on this is other people like copy and pasting it mm -hmm. and yeah, how yeah. like and you want the intellectual property and, and then how do you protect it? Because like your business, you can stand outside with a baseball bat if someone tries to rob you, but this is true. Yeah, this is true. And, you know, what I always say to that, because I, my brother and I kind of toy with this a, a lot as well, and you're putting it out there. But when you think about it in the true vastness of the people in the world, does it really matter? And if that person is going to do that and spread your knowledge, more power to them. Let them go. I mean, unless it's something that is so critical, that is your, you know, it is your secret sauce, then trademark or patent it. But if, it, if you're not wanting to, to do that and put the money out to do that, then you know what? If somebody's going to spread your knowledge, A, it, you can say, you know what? That's a compliment because they find such value in what you've put out there that they're now going to share it. 
that's fine. Take it as a compliment. Let them go. Move on. There's more people out there. They're going to resonate and find your information and find you. I love that perspective. Like, and it is, it's about shifting perspective. Cause I know a lot of my listeners, that's, that's a hurdle that they come up with in the, in the spiritual metaphysical communities. Mm -hmm. It's a huge thing. And so I was like, Absolutely. Oh yeah. So having that perspective shift is they, cause literally no one has ever explained it that way that I have heard. And I think that that's mm. just mind blowing that it's like, it's such a subtle shift to, to like, it's a compliment but it's just not talked about. And so thank you for bringing yeah. it out. That's fabulous. All right. So I love you. I think you're wonderful. I'm sure your brother is just as wonderful. What can people do to work with you to learn their own keys, to develop their own keys, to learn if a key no longer fits? Let's be honest. How, how can people contact you for your awesomeness? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm on all the social media platforms. So Michelle Ricketts, two L's and two T's, and they can reach me there. LinkedIn is always the best place to message me because I look there before I look everywhere else. Um, and then also my website, cohesionservices.com. You can reach me there as well. But if you uh, are interested, I can give you information and a link tree that you can share with your listeners with this podcast as well. And uh, you can they can reach out to me that way. I love it. That would be fabulous. Oh, thank you so much. I love this conversation. I love the keys, visuals. Oh, I, I'm happy. I don't know about you, but I'm happy. So this is wonderful. And you're, it's not just the information that you give, it's the perspective that you also give that is so invaluable in, in this business and, and setting yourself up for success in your life and, thank you. and work. So I, I, I appreciate all that you are doing and I hope you have an amazing day with, with everything that is going on to the listeners. Thank you so much for coming, for being fabulous. Remember to comment and follow if you want to see more and reach out to Michelle at any time. She is happy to see people. She is super friendly on and off camera. So it'll be really easy to find success when you use her, which makes me just so happy for everyone listening. So go thank forth so and be much. the hero of your own story. And Michelle, once again, thank you so much. Thank you, Lily. Love it.